What's up guys, I'm LQ, this is the LQ Review, thank you so much for joining me right here at my YouTube channel. This is where we talk about all the geeky, nerdy stuff that we love to talk about. Movies, video games, comic books, and TV shows. And right now I'd like to give you guys my thoughts on the Mighty Ducks Game Changers Episode 4. And yeah, this show's just getting more and more into the, into the, into the field of ridiculousness. Like over here is the field of straight drama actually could plausibly happen next to that field is things are exaggerated but it's still rather realistic and then what this show has done it's gotten in the car and it's driven five miles down the road and all the way down here is the field of ridiculousness and that's where they play that they got a firm they got a firm foot in the field of ridiculousness and it's all about the parents like that's the funny thing is that I'm buying the kids as characters and by the way the kids are very one-dimensional each kid has its has his or her own um, stereotypical personality and that's who that kid is but these kids are much better developed and much more interesting um, than their psychotic parents who have gotten on the bus to Looney Town and don't really know where to get off. They just want to keep on going down to Looney Town. And these parents are legitimately nuts. Like, there's not one parent in this show that I look at as, that's a good parent. Or I look at as, that parent's got his or her stuff together. Or that parent isn't causing trauma to their kid. <laughs> All these parents are awful. Just awful. And they want to paint them as being normal parents. Like, like this is normal. Disney's over here like, this is normal. It's okay for parents to, to make their kids feel inadequate. It's okay to make their parents, you know, it, it's, it's okay for parents to feel like, uh, it's okay f for parents to make their kids feel inadequate. It's okay for parents to treat 10-year-old hockey like it's the NHL. This is fine. This is normal life. <laughs> it's not. It's not normal life. And if you're a parent watching this and that is normal life for you, I would reevaluate. <laughs> I would reevaluate your priorities. Uh, no kid is getting recruited in 10th grade or in, in when they're 10 years old. Not even in 10th grade. No kid is getting recruited to pro sports or college when they're that young. You know, I'm a coach. I'm a coach and uh, I coach high school. I coach high school sports. And <laughs> all the time, all the time, I've got parents coming up to me saying, um, you know, what do I got to do to get my kid a scholarship? You know, what do we got to do to get the, get get our get our son or daughter a scholarship? And my answer is always the same. My answer is always hit the books. If you really want a college scholarship, forget the sports and hit the books. <laughs> and that is a fact. That is a fact of life. So if you are a high school age student watching this right now, and if you, if you want to get a scholarship... Forget the sports. Hit the books. Graduate with a high GPA. Apply to every single scholarship that you can and make sure that those scholarships are academic based. Apply, apply, apply. Make sure you do community service. Colleges like that. Uh, and make sure that you apply to any <coughs> excuse me, any any scholarships that are um, community service based. All right. Make sure you're doing this stuff. If you want to get a scholarship, forget the sports. Now, if you want to learn lifelong lessons in team play, in fair play, in sportsmanship, in healthy living. If you want to learn lessons that will that you will take with you your entire life that are just as val valuable as anything you learn in the classroom, then yeah, sign up for sports. But <laughs> if you want a scholarship, hit the books. Hit the books. Um, chances are there's a 99.9% .9 chance you're not good enough for that college scholarship. I'm just calling it like it is. Just calling it like it is. Parents, I know that you love watching your son play soccer or your daughter play volleyball or whatever sport it might be. But I'm telling you right now, there's a 99.9% .9 chance that your son or daughter is not good enough for a college scholarship. So encourage them to hit those books. 
now that my PSA is over, we can get back to how awful the parents are in the Mighty Ducks Game Changers. <laughs> Even the mom who's like, I'm an Olympic athlete in hockey. Awful. Just an awful person. And seeing them interact with each other, it's all awful. I, I hate it all. But then, but then remember, we're on the bus to ridiculousness here. Ridiculousness is the field all the way uh, five miles away from normal. So we've got this Olympic athlete who is challenged our 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 mom played by the Gilmore Girls lady, the bad Santa lady. I forget her name, Lauren Graham. I think it might be. Um. That this hot that this this Olympic Olympic athlete <laughs> has challenged our hockey mom, our our hero hockey mom to a, a uh, competition on the ice and the stakes the stakes are the best kid on the mighty ducks where is she gonna play she wants to play for the ducks but mom and dad or she wants to play for the uh the don't bothers but mom and dad want to play for the ducks because mom and dad are horrible people um so since we are on that bus to ridiculousness and since that is the destination where we will be getting off um Hockey mom, Lauren Graham, bad Santa lady, she is able to defeat a Olympic-level athlete in a hockey tournament. And this Olympic-level athlete was Olympic-level in hockey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now, she ends up losing on a technicality. And, uh, and obviously, you know daughter still ends up playing for the don't bothers because dad had that one moment of normalcy um but the whole thing was ridiculous the whole thing was just completely asinine and i'm still watching the show <laughs> i'm still watching it um uh, i guess i'm into self-punishment at this point i don't know what i did to myself to deserve this um but it's just it's it's beyond the point of 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 normal like everything about this show is just ridiculous gordon bombay i love the idea that emilio estevez is in here but really he's doing the same thing he did in the first movie all right in the first movie he acted completely unethically as a coach and cozied up to one of his players moms i'm sorry as a coach that is entirely unethical so what's he doing now Acting completely unethical as a coach and cozying up to one of his player's moms. We know what he wanted when he brought that pecan pie over. All right. It wasn't just to eat the pie. You know what I'm saying? It was to, it was to cozy up to bad Santa lady. And, uh, <laughs> um, I don't know. I had high hopes for this show, but the problem is that there's no, there's no likable characters in it. Like I don't like anybody in this show. The kids are annoying, and the adults are horrible. You gotta think about this, Disney. You gotta think about this. All right, this is one of your marquee. Uh, this is one of your marquee shows that you've brought to Disney Plus, and there's nobody likable in it. And this is meant for kids. This is meant for kids, and there's nobody likable. It's got its woke moments, and I feel like that's part of the uh, reason that Disney wanted to put this on the air was because you've got the woke stuff happening but that's not enough there's got to be likable stuff likable people in here there's got to be likable situations there's got to be things to root for you know having a kid who has two moms isn't enough to make me root for that kid if he's still annoying you know what i'm saying <laughs> um i don't know i don't know i, I i'm gonna keep watching it but come on disney I don't know. What did you guys think of episode four of the Mighty Ducks Game Changers? I was not a fan of this episode at all. It just really, really made me feel dumber when I was done. I like I, I turned it off and I was like, well, there went those brain cells. <laughs> so, so let me know what you thought of it in the comments down below. While you're down there, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out a lot of content and I want to make sure that you're up to date with everything that I'm doing. And as always, thank you so much for joining me right here at the LQ Review where we get to talk about all the geeky, nerdy stuff that we love to talk about. Until next time, we'll see you later.